What made them such great champions, do you think? Maybe the elegance and uh, the technique. Maybe, I think, yeah. They are a magnificent couple because they are, they are uh, very technical and uh, very elegant. Twelve years of competition and it all came to an end now and it's the day after. What are the emotions? It's a bit sad still because we finish and it's a really big part of our life and really we're really enjoying each other and our dancing and uh, I think we will really miss the public uh, emotions which they get uh, to us also. But still uh, our life continues, we'll stay in the dance board and uh, I think we'll still enjoy with our couples. The idea to come here to Germany to actually put the final point on uh, on a sporting career was very very deliberate on your part like uh, it had to be German yeah because uh, the Germany is uh, one of our favorite countries to dance in because we love the competition in uh, Stuttgart we love the competition in Mannheim before we love the Forzheim we did many of Masters Gala here so the public knows us and we know them already and you know I think um, the Finnish of the career like yesterday I think every couple would love to have it so we are really happy and appreciate that uh, Harry Kerner and German Open gave us the chance to say goodbye e here yeah, and also I would like to add that uh, nearly all competitions in Germany were really um, like highlights for us so first time we won youth on G GOC in Mannheim so it was really successful because we were dancing only one year as a couple then the first time we get to the world's final, it was in, uh, I think, Karlsruhe 2006. So we couldn't make it, but then in Germany still we get it. So all, uh, nearly all German competitions are really successful and really lucky for us. And now you said we're going to be still remaining in dance sports. Uh, what does that mean now for a, a couple like you? Like uh, you both go your own ways or you're working together on certain projects. How will this work out now? No, we're working uh, all, all the time together with our couples because, you know, we are helping them because Anna is doing some things which I can't do and maybe I even doing some things which Anna doesn't like to do with the couple. So we are always working together and our life will continue as a teachers, coaches of our couples. We have pretty much of the medals in here already and uh, we will judge uh, objectively. <laughs> And, you know, life is still going. So it's maybe it's uh, also a nice time to be about in the dancing, but not in on the floor. And now I think you made a very, very good point here. You said uh, we're going to be judging and we're going to do this very, very well. Uh, sometimes I think it takes a champion to be a good judge. Isn't that true? Yeah, but you know, we already tried to judge once. I was judging juveniles one. But still, it's really um, how can I say, a difficult job because uh, there's a lot of good couples, good looking, good technique, and it's really hard to make a choice. So for me, it was really, really hard to make a decision. And I was really worried afterwards that maybe I could judge maybe another couples because they were all really good. So for me, it was a really, really hard experience. And your next major date where you have to go uh, and look after your couples, after Russian couples, would be what? The World Youth Latin Championship in Czech Republic, Ostrava. So I hope we're going to be able to see each other there. Thank you very, very much for everything you did. And uh, really, the best of luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks. You.